One of the best-selling irons of the last two years has just had an upgrade. True QI golfer. I love these. Oh, you're up. <laughs> Every time you're in the videos, I always play so bad. <laughs> Oh, oh cup up. Cup we up. get the 28 handicapper on to make a hole in one. I guess there's no really option to lay up, right? If I think I had a seven iron. Five iron. Five Sorry, I had a five iron. <laughs> <laughs> Try really, really good. What's going on? I think it's the iron. Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and welcome to La Hacienda, the Lynx course in Spain. Myself and Johnny are here today on the 12th hole to review these brand new tailor-made QI irons, a game improvement iron, Johnny, but they've got some looks to them, don't they? They are an upgrade to the TaylorMade Stealth. The TaylorMade game improvement irons are now on a two-year cycle. We know we had the TaylorMade Stealth HD last year. That's more super improvement. Johnny, tell me your thoughts. Straight off the bat, big improvement looks. Yep. I, I'm a big fan of this kind of like whole black panel at the back. Sure. It's kind of less of an obvious cavity. The previous ones, there was kind of a bit more like space in the yeah. back. I just think they look sleeker. I kind of like this two-tone carbon fiber and kind of pinstripe detailing they've got here. And then down at address, you still got a good amount of offset and quite a thick top line, which yeah. those looking for kind of like the game improvement profile, I think we'll exactly. really appreciate. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I personally don't think the tailor-made stealth irons from two years ago were a bad set of irons for game improvement. No, no. I mean, they they are quite good looking. I feel like what we've seen over the last about five years is game improvement irons become a little bit nicer in a bag, better shelf appeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I'll be honest with you guys, like game improvement irons are quite ugly usually. Yeah. But I would happily put these in the bag from looks alone. And as you said, down at address, they are slight, obviously they are still game improvement iron, they are quite large, but I would be impressed rolling up at a Saturday Stableford to see these irons in a bag of someone off 2015. Yeah. And that handicap range can be quite broad. But to talk about what's new and tech, let's hand it over to Matt Bovey, who I chatted to earlier in 2023 to see what's what for these brand new TaylorMade QI irons. Right, Matt, talk to me about the brand new TaylorMade QI irons. What's new? Oh, there's so much new going on inside the QI irons. First and foremost, it's really delivering this concept of straight distance, which means accuracy through the entire set in a way that really no other game improvement iron can. There's a lot of technologies that drive that, unique face designs. We have a brand new face geometry that's set up, each one uniquely designed. New speed pockets in here as well. Of course, technologies to lower that center of gravity, get it precisely where we want it with the flighted CG. So it depends on where you want to start. There's a lot here. Okay, so I want to start with the, just kind of the life cycle that people have, consumers have for oh, iron. Sure. Isn't it roughly about four to seven years, would you say so on average? Yep. So no. people who have things such as the M4, the M6, stuff like that, what are they gonna notice when they upgrade to your newest, best oh. irons in 2024? Yeah, you're gonna notice a world of difference. Honestly, the sweet spots have been massively increasing. Okay. You're gonna see a huge consistency difference. You're gonna see a ball speed difference. You're gonna see a forgiveness distance difference. You're actually gonna see a launch difference as well. Right. So these are designed to be higher launching in the long irons. Right, okay. You mentioned sweet spot there. Talk to me a bit more about that. So how much bigger actually is it? How much more forgiveness are the people using game improvement irons gonna have when they try these out? So I I'm gonna compare it to stealth irons specifically, yes, sure. right? So that was industry leading for two full years. Yep. And we're 14% larger on the sweet spot now wow, in okay. QI. So double digit growth, that's nothing to scoff at. So you'll notice more forgiveness across the set. Yep. That drives MOI, it drives your sweet spot size, but also with these irons being uniquely designed, you're gonna notice that you're just hitting better shots more often. Okay, I remember you talking about the dispersion of these irons, them going straight. How have you guys done that? Because I'm seeing in terms of the bias that other irons have, what have you guys done to make these as straight as possible? Okay, so uh, a little bit of a technical answer with yep. that, but th the fine. simplest way to put it is to really, we control the face flexibility from the heel to the toe. Wow, okay. Okay, now, unless you control that flexibility profile, it wants to put a really like a cut spin on yep. the golf ball that really creates a miss to the right. Sure. We've counteracted that using patented technologies to really balance out how the face rebounds at the point of impact. That's what gives you that straight distance through the iron set. So you're really set up on your aim point through the entire bag 
which is really big for game improvement players because all players, specifically game improvement iron players, yeah. they really commonly miss to the right, sure. right? So why would you ever make that worse? QI is designed to minimize that. Talk to me about kind of handicap ranges. I know it's a really difficult question, it and, but it's probably quite a horrible That's question as well, but who, could, who can use these irons? I know it's more people who are maybe just getting into the game need a little bit of help, but can you say it's kind of quite broad in terms of combo sets that we're now focusing yes. on? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you bring combo sets in the conversation. You could have easily high single digit players playing this. You could have scratch players playing this. Really, they're kind of targeted more at that mid to high handicap player. Okay. So I'm, if I had to put a number on it, I'd say probably like 15-ish okay. up. Yep. Below that, you're going to start looking at 790. There's going to be a decent amount of crossover yeah. in both directions. Sure. I've seen 790 played up to 20, 25 handicap. Yep. Depends where you lose your strokes, right? Yep. Where do you need your help? Okay. So it's for a range of players there, but you're going to kind of live in that mid-teens world. Sure. Or, okay. or are up. I'm such a massive advocate for custom fitting for any person getting into the game. How important now is it in 2024? I mean, the technology that fitters have now, it far surpasses anything in the past. It's, it's rapidly changing, it's becoming more readily available. So part of the fitting process is to finding which iron model is for you, yep. right? So at least if you're not getting fit, be aware enough to know which iron is designed for your game. Good. You don't want to start the game playing blades or MCs, why make it harder? Golf's already a hard enough game, yeah. right? But everyone delivers the club head differently. Everyone has a unique swing. So there are different loft and line specifications that will help you play better golf, right. regardless of your skill level. And if you're playing with something that just isn't set up for your swing, you're gonna make the game more difficult. It's the best way to maximize the performance that's in these irons is to get them custom fit to you. Yeah, perfect. That's, hear that from Matt, hear that from me, get custom fit. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to testing these out. Thank you very much, Matt. I really appreciate your time oh, today. Yeah. Cheers. Likewise. Thank you. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Right, so now we're at Custom Golf Work to put the TaylorMade QI irons to the test. Myself and Johnny both hit this six sign here to see how it really performed. Now, looking at the data here, you can see Johnny's numbers were actually pretty, pretty bang on. Yeah. You can see there, st completely straight as well, right? Peppering the flag with a carry of 186 yards total, 200. Spin slightly too low is something you can work with. I probably can't work with my spin being 4,100. And as you can see, I had 15 yards of rollout similar to Johnny, but a real distance iron, right? Would you, would you consider oh, yeah. seeing these numbers putting this in the bag? I mean, I'd happily have those six iron numbers in my bag. I mean, there would be a bit of a jump from seven to six because yep. I normally hit my seven iron about one six five. Right. But having said that, if I was to put these irons, I'd probably go maybe six to four, right. just to have them in my longer irons, longer irons in the club, just give me an extra bit of distance, extra bit of power. Okay. I mean, you added, added offset as well. Gives you a lot of confidence. Yeah, so you use the P790s, right? I do indeed. Which is kind of, if you were to have these to step up, mm -hmm. the P790s would be next. Would you say, say four, five, six sign, you could potentially have it in your bag, right? Uh, I probably would go, I'd probably go four, yeah, four, five, six, four, five, maybe six. four, five. Yeah, yeah. okay, well, I, I, I think that's a really good point because, what do you, what do you play off? Uh, my handicap is currently 13. Okay, so big band over here, yeah. but either way, for a 13 handicapper, potentially Johnny could have those long lines in the bag. I play a five, I could definitely have a four iron in the bag as well, just because it is so forgiving. And with this new tech of not draw bias, but straighter, it also feels pretty good as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Even though it's a quite a big hollow body iron, it's not something that's offensive, is no. it? I mean, I had two, I had a, a, quite a nasty little toe strike in there. Just, and I wasn't gonna mention it. And the, the fall off in distance really wasn't that bad at all. No, it's fine, which yeah. is exactly what you want for a game improvement iron. So I'm, I mean, ticks all the boxes here at Custom Golf Works, but let's now go to the treacherous par three at La Hacienda. You fancy a hole in one? Always. Let's, let's see. Right, Johnny, let's put it to the test now though, on the 12th hole at La Hacienda, the Lynx course. 176 meters, which is about 200 yards, but then play about 180 yards because it's downhill. At possibly tough, yeah. one of the best days in the world to play golf. Let's make a hole in one. Shot, say that. Lovely yeah. sound to it for a game improvement iron. Shot, mate. Just oh, off the back. back. Big big hit from you. Woo. Yeah. yeah, no, I'll take that. There's, First one off. They are strong lofts for, yep. uh, so I'm using an eight iron. Johnny's using a six iron, is that yep. correct? Yeah, six iron. And I'll put the lofts of those on the screen for you both now. So they are still that of a game improvement iron, but do you, are you are you thinking the, the flight of these is that of a game improvement iron? A bit? Um, I mean, I always find it slightly hard to tell when you're playing to a green that's way far below right, you. Yeah, because it always looks like it goes really high. Sure. But that 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 looks good to me. It did look nice. Oh, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you're in the videos, I always play so badly. <laughs> 
shot. Oh, it's kind of over, but you're getting the hang of it now. Just left. I mean, just, I'm not. Just yeah, that's fine. Just, that just left the bunker. I'm not really too surprised though with these clubs being that of a slightly uh, less right bias. Oh, it was so nice. I'm just aiming so far right. Yeah. Just yeah. a little straighter. Pin, pin high. Yeah. That looked good. That felt good. I think I think they're moving that, that feel a bit closer towards that. I'm not saying piece of a 90, but like these are obviously hollow. They feel very solid. Though. Yeah, they feel quite solid. Despite it's a bit that. weird. Right, let's get one on the green. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, to be honest, I don't know how many times I expect to get on the green from 200 yards, but it True. would be nice. Let's get one close, come on. Oh, you oh, just got that no. leftness going on there. Oh, oh car path. Car path. And another car path. No, bueno. <laughs> there we go, that's the one. Oh, just, it's just, I thought it was going to keep coming round. Didn't in the end. You'd take that though, wouldn't you? I, I'd, I'd take that all day. I'd snap your arm off of that consistently. Yeah. It, I'm trying to think what it feels like in terms of comparing it to another iron. I'm not really sure what it, what it would feel like. It's not piece of a 90 because that feels more of a hollow body play as I'm yeah. more explosive. This feels quite forgiving. Well, I mean, that, that my last one, that left one. Yeah. That was pretty rank strike. Was it? And that, I mean, that, it's hard to say exactly how long, far that went, but yeah. I still managed to carry all the water. That's the one. Keep coming, keep coming. It's trying. Lovely shot. Really long good. Long as well. Was it long? Powerful. I like that, I powerful like that a lot. Though. Yeah. The thing is, it doesn't sound sound powerful when you compare it to that of a piece of a ninety or something. Uh, but it sounds quite premium, which is which is good. That's a beauty. It's just coming back. Didn't catch it well, so it'll be interesting how far it's gone. I mean, pin, pin high. high, pin high, just just slightly high. Yeah. That you can see. They're hot though, these. Yeah, yeah. If, if you see here. Just, just hit that a little bit on the toe, and that's gone the exact same distance as the last shot that I hit. So I, I actually need to take a little bit off this because my two, the two good strikes have both gone long of the green. Yeah. So I just need to kind of ease off this okay. a touch. And then we'll get uh, Woody Woods to come in, the true UI golfer. Ah, oh, that's so good. You got on the hang of it now. That looks so deep as well, though. No. Yeah, it's gone straight off the back. Yeah, gone, I've so. gone over the back on yeah, yeah, yeah. all of these are good ones. Johnny Percival has too much muscle. All right, last shot. I'll explain what's impressed me the most after we get the 28 handicapper on to make a hole in one, right? I love these. I think I've just hit three identical shots yeah. in a row. Yeah. Oh, that's deep. a touch long. That's gone, off the, that's gone off the back as well. So even though I was saying I hit three identical shots, they were not identical strike patterns. One was okay, one was off the toe, one was a little bit off the heel. You saw slightly different shot trajectories. First one was pretty optimal. Second one was a little bit hydral. Third one was a bit more of a lowish fade, but ended up pretty equidistant to each other. So in essence, straight. Shot. Ah, oh, it's just uh, overturned. That I think is just... the distance. That's long as well. I think 7-iron would probably be the perfect club for you. 7-iron would be a perfect yeah. club, I think, yeah. Either way, though. I think so. It's just a little, little too little loft. Yes, I yeah, because they are still game improvement loft. Yeah. But I think the 6-iron would be perfect for our 28 handicapper, who's going to hit some more. shots now. Let's get him over here. William Ward. Hello. Our videographer. Yeah. For the Golf Mate channel, but also our 28 handicapper, despite you saying that you may not be as good. Off days, good days and bad days. And today's a good day. So Very good day. Exactly. So yeah. we've got, I think... First of all, this man is a tailor-made fanboy, would you say? <laughs> yeah, just, 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 just a little bit. But tell me, in your most neutral opinion, what you think of these golf clubs that you've got. I actually really like them. I like the look of them. Okay. It's not just me saying that because I'm a huge TM fanboy. Sure. But no, I do like the look of them. I've hit a couple already and they feel nice okay. when I have hit them well. Yeah. And sure. I'm, I'm currently gaming with the M4 iron. Right, okay. And in terms of, I don't know how they compare to these. So. Well, it's a really good question, actually, because M4 is far enough back now that brands and also myself would say you would probably see a significant improvement if you upgrade. Okay. These have a larger sweet spot. They have flighted CG and, and whatnot. So in terms of forgiveness and everything, you'll probably see some increased performance. Okay. But look, that's a lot of words. I want to see you actually do that. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. not expecting you with the, with the selection of balls you're going to hit to hit it to 10 foot or so. It's more for what oh. you're going to be happy with, because this okay, is, yeah. by name and nature, a very difficult hole. Mm -hmm. um, that's a very difficult goal for myself, a five handicapper. That's a very difficult goal for you, a 28 handicapper. So I, what, what is your goal here is being someone on the course with no cameras filming. We just want to get it over the water. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's no really option to lay up. 
So <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not. Not on a, not on a par three. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so what I suggest you I, do I think um, uh, <laughs> aim, aim, aim at the left bunker because I know you hit the fade yeah, um, and okay. let's just let's have some fun with it what a shot what a shot keep coming keep coming it's over so that Great shot. felt soft like that felt like I hit it right out of the middle. Yeah. I mean, is it? That's the thing that we've noticed. Like, it's it's a game improvement iron. Other irons yeah. that we've hit, such as uh, Cobra Dark Speed and whatnot, are proper hollow body. Oh, sharp. Alex yeah. Lodge. I am the best player in the world. Yeah, they really feel like, you know. Yeah. I don't feel like the TaylorMade QI irons or the QI10 woods in general are focusing on this okay. massive amount of distance. We've got that already in 2023 in the game. More focusing on you getting that ball over that water okay. and having a big smile on your face. Okay, well, I've already got a smile on my face. No, let's, let's, let's keep We're it We're in uh, La Hacienda. Exactly. So, we can't really complain. Strike, really, really good. What's going on? <laughs> I think it's the ice. Oh, no, that, no. I did just, <laughs> yeah, okay. Where it I mean, I was expecting one to go in the water at some point. There's a, there is quite a big bit of water there. <laughs> there is, so there's a big bit of water here. Big but bit of water again, in there. again, soft fill. For, for a okay. 28 hand again, the dispersion that you've just done there yeah. is, pretty, is pretty impressive. Okay. And it's good that you, I'm seeing that for someone whose miss is a little bit right, they are still hitting it quite straight, which is good. I naturally fade the ball. Yeah. But, that, but that's fine. If it's controllable, uh, I think that's what a lot of people watching this video who are getting into the game of golf, who are haven't got the perfect swing, who don't have access to launch monitors and things like that, the likelihood is when you get into the game of golf, your swing path is going to be out to win with an open face. Yeah. That's not problematic. It's problematic if those numbers are that of an extreme sense. What this club will do for you, the entire set from four to pitching wedge or whatever set you may try and get in terms of the numbers, is it will make shots straighter. Okay. I'm not saying that club is a draw bias because it's not, but it's, it's going to make your dispersion better. So okay. what we're seeing technically with the ball flights, which guys you, you would see on this screen, is the actual fade is a nice pretty fade rather than not, uh, rather than a stinky slice, no. right? Yeah, no one no one wants a stinky slice in the Golf Mayor channel. So last one. Okay. Um, but I think, as you said, uh, you we are well, limited we, here. Yeah. Like, if I think I had a seven iron, five iron. I re sorry, if I had a five iron. <laughs> 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 You're not that big, mate. <laughs> I was going up. <laughs> uh, if I had a if I had a five iron for this. Um, I think, because uh, the first one landed, I think I can see it from here. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's that you, you're, you're reckon, approaching from the green. So come on. 28 handicapper, William Woods. I, I feel like this has been pretty successful for you. I feel like maybe I might even gift you a custom fitting. We'll see. Oh, I don't know. You're adding that pressure to me. <laughs> if, you hit the, if you hit the green, you'll get a custom fitting. Cut to me on the green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, go. I didn't hit that You didn't hit well. that well, but look, I, I understand that's... Oh, just just yeah. short. That's not too bad. Just short in the stream. Yeah. A little bit of a plopper, but I could tell a little bit healy, a little bit low. Yeah. And but just a bit pressure, I think, that, for a custom fitting. That's, that's <laughs> well, you're going to have some pressure player for golf. Yeah. The thing is, that's your worst shot of the day, and that's only gone about five to six yards shorter than your best shot. And which it's just shows. Hole. Yeah, and it's a really tricky, a tricky hole, hole. Which is so. good. So, you know what? If you guys even like on this video, you will. We'll get a custom fitting in the next few months. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the signs. Right, Johnny, here at the clubhouse at La Hacienda, the QI irons by TaylorMade. Yeah. What do you think? So the thing I've been most impressed by is the aesthetics. Typically, I'm not a huge fan of game improvement irons, looks wise, but I think these are really, really sleek. The new black back plate, I think is really, really smart. The kind of cross-hatching carbon fiber in the pinstripe, as we mentioned before, really lovely. And also, I think these blend much nicer with potentially a P790 if you wanted a 4-5 iron at the top of the bag. So yeah, overall, really impressed. It's funny that because I, for aesthetic point of view, I actually don't think there's a big difference with the self. I think they've kind of lent on a similar colour scheme and whatnot. It's not that, that many big improvements, but when we go into the performance and technology behind them, I think they've made some actually drastic improvements over a two year life cycle, uh, which we've seen obviously today at La Hacienda and also at Custom Golf Works. The data from the straighter balls, bigger sweet spot, obviously these needs to be put into action from technology. And I feel like we've shown that yeah. so much so that I would happily put this iron here, a four iron in the bag, and now you can blend them with P790s. Like they are game improvement irons, yes, but someone on 15, even someone on five like me could put a four iron in the bag. Yeah. So 
Everyone watching, what do you think of the TaylorMade QI irons? Let me know down in the comments because I mean, I don't think aesthetically there's a big difference, you do. So yep. it looks like there's some opinions to be divided here. Let me know down in the comments and if you want us to compare them to any other irons, well, they are coming, but let us know down in the comments what you would like us to compare them to. If you are new to Golf Magic as well, make sure you subscribe because plenty more videos coming with TaylorMade and also with the QI irons and QI10. So make sure you hit that big red button to keep up to date with all of our content. Myself and Johnny at La Hacienda will catch you at the next video. Play a quick nine? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs>